Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 27, 2018. We're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. Development opportunities in Suriname should be exploited sufficiently. Consumer Association notices price increase in stores. Service station owners still want a larger profit margin at the pump. And legislation and policy on environmental issues needed. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. It can be affirmed that development opportunities for Suriname are exploited insufficiently, as President Desiree Bautista said on Sunday morning. He referred to the recent visits that foreign top executives made to Suriname with corporation as a goal. According to the president, this clearly indicates that there are possibilities for cooperation for Suriname that not everyone is aware of. He himself went into details on this subject during his speech at the 38th commemoration of revolution in Suriname. Indeed, this is also supported by a number of countries inside and outside the Caribbean. The former Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Denzel Douglas, is one of them. At the end of January, he paid a visit to the Surinamese government. He was impressed by the potential of our country and also indicated what opportunities Suriname has in relation to other countries. He took the agricultural sector as an example. Why should Sinkis bring food from Miami? Why not from Suriname? Why don't we link the agricultural sector with tourism development in St. Kitts and Nevis? Our people in St. Kitts and Nevis depended heavily on Dominica for a lot of our agricultural produce. Dominica has been devastated over the last few months by Hurricane Irma and um, whatever the name, the other name was for the other hurricane. We need, therefore, for people of Suriname, the government of Suriname, the investors in our culture in Suriname to know that we need food from the Caribbean to feed our high-end tourists who are visiting our countries. And St. Kitts and Nevis is only one of them. Antigua needs the same thing. Let's do it together. Let Suriname and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean collaborate so that you would provide food for us and our tourism sector if we are not able to do it for ourselves because we are small countries and we would always need the support from outside. Furthermore, the former Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis mentioned the components that Suriname is missing to bring more development. The lack of capital, foreign investors, and awareness are, according to Denzel Douglas, still a stand in the way for our country. That is why more and more foreign top executives in recent times want to talk with the Surinamese government to study the possibilities. In the speech of President Desiree Bautista in the morning of February 25, he also talked about the coming per day. The Consumers Association, Consument Kring, that stands up for the interests of consumers, has noticed a price increase in stores. Between July of last year and January of this year, prices in stores increased by 8.9%. For Albert Elena, the chairman of the association, this development is worrying especially since the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar has remained stable. 
The Consument and Kring has published in its latest publication of the Consumer's Courier the price comparisons. It is striking that not all products have undergone a price have undergone a price increase. Last night, the Consument and Kring held a seminar in the Lala Rook building on the Consumer Protection Act in which the bill as it is prepared is presented to the audience. Service station operators still want an increase in the profit they make on every liter of fuel at the pump. The chairman of the Association of Service Station Owners, Surin Jani Yanki, says that she is waiting for a decision from the government. There have been a number of moments this year that the fuel prices were increased, but the profit margin was not adjusted. The Service Station Operators Association believes that they invest much more than the government and the oil companies and still get the least out of it. The service station owners are asking for a widening of the profit margin. On the other hand, Janki has her doubts about the cause of the recent fuel price increase. According to her, it is indeed the case that the fuel prices have increased internationally. But she thinks that several factors have played a role. The profit margin is still fixed at 0.13 cents per liter of fuel. Suriname paves the way to legislation and policy on environmental issues. Yesterday, the Environment Coordination of the Cabinet of the President organized a National Environmental Stakeholders Dialogue. This, in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in Suriname. The purpose of this dialogue is to inform all environmental stakeholders about the national environmental structure as well as the development, implementation, monitoring and evaluation of environmental policy. Winston Lackin, coordinator of the environment, coordinator for the environment, says that Suriname needs to get the maximum out of our environment, which can contribute to the sustainable economic development of our country. Suriname still lacks a general environmental law. Since 2002, attempts have been made to adapt the old bill. The state has been in default. Speaker of Parliament Jennifer Simmons previously indicated that the bill will be adjusted this year. According to Lakin, this law should have an umbrella function whereby every Surinamese citizen knows exactly how to deal with the environment. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same station for more. Have a blessed day.